Uh, I saw my first one in 1991, and I was immediately hooked. I had liked astronomy ever since I was a little kid. I had a lot of miles on an airline. It was Puerto Vallarta. So we, me and a friend of mine went and uh, rented a car and had a great time, and we saw a fantastic eclipse. And I, um, I became an umbrophile, a lover of the shadow, which is what we call ourselves. I know a guy who's seen 38 total eclipses. airplanes and cruise ships and the middle of nowhere in Africa. And, you know, it, it, but it's, you get a trip of a lifetime about every year or two. Uh, COVID took a lot of trips away from us, but uh, uh, we're back and I'm ready to travel to my front yard. In fact, I'm going to be speaking at the Texas Star Party that weekend and then getting on a plane and coming home. Uh, to the iffy weather of Indiana, because uh, for 30 years I've wanted to watch this eclipse from my home, and that will make it very special for me. So I would encourage your every time I give this presentation on eclipses, I, I always encourage people, make sure you're someplace special. Make sure you're with people who are special. It is a life event. It, it will be something that you remember forever. Bring somebody young, because when that somebody is old and showing uh, younger people uh, in their time, eclipses, they will remember what you did for them when you gave them this gift of totality.